That board there is going in the wall to replace those two planks because I need them for my new bench. They are priceless. You couldn't buy them. That was $44. No brainer, eh? I'm out for a wee walk. Whoops. It's that kind of day. I need that kind of exercise. And I got myself a coffee too. Beautiful. Hey, so I'm taking a little rest from my walkies. Um, but in the meantime, I'll use this as a talking talk over for what I'm doing here with the timber. Uh, I'm taking this timber with me. Um, it's too good to leave behind. It's too good to be wasted holding up a wall. So I'll replace it with treated pine. It'll be more than adequate. Keep it held up there forever. I need this timber for a bench project I have in mind later down the track. Um, I've got my bench planned out in my head so this these two pieces will make half of the top of my bench so I've got to got to keep them anyway I've got to keep walking lest that shower there catches up with me With varying levels of seriousness, we were looking for a house for over two years, maybe three even. We had a certain criteria in our head, boxes we needed to tick. Number one was to be mortgage free. Number two was a smaller house with no stairs. Number three was a bigger garage for me or a bigger shed for me or the space to put it up. Well, that's my priority. But number four was a um, separate granny flat for Ashling, our daughter. And of course, the house had to have the fields. Uh, that became not an issue, but that was a sort of a stumbling block for a long time. Uh, there was maybe six or eight houses I'd have gladly bought. Um, because of the land size or the shed size or the house was more than adequate for me, whatever. But uh, Rosie didn't get the fields for the house, so that's fine. We didn't buy those houses. Long story short, she walks in the door and you can see it on her face straight away. She's in love and uh, she starts negotiating with the agent straight away. It took a little while, but the people eventually took our offer. And this was in May and we hadn't even put our house on the market yet. Rosie doesn't want me to talk dollars and cents. But I will say, 1995, we bought our first house, got us onto the property ladder. We paid $97,000 for a military married quarters in Townsville, which we were living in because I was in the army. 
and the one we bought in May 2023 was just a little bit more than 10 times our first purchase. Sounds crazy, but we, uh, we did good on the property ladder over the last 30 years. And we sold our house for a little bit more than that, more than what we paid for the one we're going to move to. So we are mortgage free and we will have a little bit of money in the bank to do a couple of things that this new house needs.